Hey, what's up guys? Coach Austin here with Coach Emily and today we're talking about the upper back pull down. And as you can see, or as you will see soon, we actually have the standard lat pull down bar on there right now. And as you're gonna see throughout this video, this becomes less and less of a lat specific movement and lat specific bar. And it actually becomes more and more of an upper back movement. So as we're, as Emily is grabbing this, so she goes up and goes ahead and grabs it. As you can see, the arms are in a really good position to actually utilize and leverage these upper back muscles, things like the rhomboids. Okay, so as Emily comes down, she's thinking about driving her elbows out first, and then actually as she's getting down, she's thinking about more down and in. Okay, so if she does another rep for me, okay, the first thing we're gonna think about is actually driving those elbows out, down, and then in. Okay, so actually getting that more involved in the upper back. So one thing that we don't teach typically with this type of pull down movement, if we're training lats, for example, we don't want to allow the upper back to arch. But if we're doing upper back training, we can allow that upper back to arch a little bit more or that lower back to arch a little bit more. So if Emily actually arches a little bit at the lower back and puts this tissue in the upper back in a really good position to do some work. So again, we'll start thinking about driving those elbows out, down, and at the very end, in. Okay, so actually helping shorten, fully contract those muscles in the upper back. So a few things here that people tend to get wrong is your grip width. Okay, so if Emily goes ahead and puts the bar up and we'll go over kind of how to find your width of your arms, so how, how far out on the bar do I actually grip? So if Emily comes down to her bottom position of where she, the bottom position of that pull down, you can see that you wanna be fully in that bottom position, but with your arms parallel or perpendicular to the floor, so straight up and down, okay? So we don't wanna to be too far. If you're too far out, you'll be more in here. If your arms are too far in, you'll be more here, okay? So we wanna find a good position where we're right here, and then all she's gonna do is actually reach up and go find that bar. So a couple common mistakes with the upper back pull down movement. One is people's opportunity to really create momentum here. So as we do have that slight arch in the low back, that is going to really almost put you in a position to kind of start to create a little bit momentum a little bit of momentum with your hips and think about leaning back as you're pulling down, not the objective here. So as in goes back up to the top, again, a slight arch in the low back, and we're thinking about driving those elbows out first, down, and then in. As you can see, she's not moving forward and back. Once she finds that starting position, good. Once she, once she finds that start position, that's where she stays in terms relative to her torso position. 